Hello everyone, we have here exponential equation, 8 to the power of x squared divided by 2 to the power of negative x equals 16, and in here we're solving for the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, I would like to say thank you if you can hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much. Now let's start solving. In here, if you notice, all the terms of the equation can be transformed into a common base. 16, 8, and 2, they have something in common. So in here, 8 can be uh, transformed into base 2, and 16 can have an exponential form of base 2 also. Alright, so let's do it. So 8 to the power of x squared divided by 2 to the power of negative x equals 16. The left hand side, the, the numerator, 8, base 8, can be written the same way as 2 cubed to the power of x squared divided by 2 to the negative x. And the right hand side of the equation, 16, can be written the same way as 2 to the power of 4. And now the equation can be written the same way as now. Multiplying the exponents, we have now 2 to the power of 3x squared divided by 2 to the power of negative x equals 2 to the power of 4. And from here, if you notice the denominator with the exponent negative x, we can put it on top also as a numerator. So this, this equation now becomes 2 to the power of 3x squared times 2 to the power of positive x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now we focus our attention on the left hand side of the equation. We have the same base right there. So that means we're combining the exponent from exponent formula. That is a to the power of n times a to the power of m equals a to the power of n plus m. So we ended up adding the exponent. So the left hand side now becomes 2 to the power of 3x squared plus x equals 2 to the power of 4. Now if you notice, left and right hand side of the equation has the same base, base of 2. This just simply means that we can equate the exponent. So this is based on the exponent formula, a to the power of b equals a to the power of c. Same base, that means we can equate the exponents. b is equal to c. So the equation now becomes 3x squared plus x is equal to 4. Now the equation is now transformed into a quadratic equation. And now we all we have to do is arrange the uh, terms of the equation now. So let, let's write it on its standard form. So this is now 3x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. And from here, the value of x can now be solved three ways. By using the quadratic formula, by factoring, or by factoring by grouping. All right, so let's do factoring. And second, factoring by grouping. Also, let's factor this out. So 3 times 4 is 12. That's the one on top. And the one on the bottom is based on the second term. So the coefficient is 1. And the factors of 12 are to be written on the left and right side of the, the factors of 12 are 6 and 2, 4 and 3, 12 and 1. So here in this setup, we are to find the factors of 12 that in such a way that when we add those up, those factors of 12 will become 1, positive 1. And since this is negative, so the factors must be a negative and positive. So it will end up to a positive 1 coefficient of middle term. So out of these factors of 12, 4 and 3 that will just yield exactly 1. So we'll be using 4 and 3. So this is 4 and 3. And since we have this as negative, that means one of those is negative, one of the factors. 
and the middle term is positive 1, that's the coefficient. So the bigger number should carry the positive sign. So this must be positive, and 3 is negative. And now, if you notice, the leading coefficient is 3. Coefficient of x squared is on the left mouse. That means we have to divide these factors by 3. So the left factor and the right factor. And now we can build our parentheses over here. Okay, so this must be equal to 0. And the first factor on the left is this part right here. So 3 corresponds to 3x. And plus 4 corresponds to the constant on the right. That means plus 4. And the right-hand side, 3 corresponds to the coefficient of x. So 3x. A negative 3 corresponds to the right side of this second factor, negative 3. And from here, we can equate these both factors now to 0 to find for the value of x. So the left-hand side, left factor, we have 3x plus 4 equals to 0. And the right side, 3x minus 3 equals to 0. So for the value of x, x is equal to transposing 4 to the right hand side become negative. So negative 4 divided by 3. That's 4 thirds. Okay, one value of x and the, the other side. x is equal to transposing negative 2 to the other side become positive. So there's 3 divided by 3. Since coefficient is 3, this becomes 1. So x is equal to 1. So these are the two values of x. x is 1 and x is negative 4 thirds. From here, the other way to solve for the value of the variable x from this equation is by tweaking the, uh, the value of the middle term, positive x, and we will be doing factoring. And so from here, we'll be solving for the value of the variable x again. So this, this will be the second method of solving for the variable x. So let's do that. So from here, we write this one again over here, 3 times x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. So from here, we're taking into consideration the value of variable x. x can be equal to negative 3x plus 4x. That will be the same as positive x. So in here, 3x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 4 equals 0. So on the equation, if you notice, 3x is common, and in here, 4 is common. So we can factor this out, out of these two terms, out of this same thing on here, on these two terms. So the equation now becomes, 3x times the quantity x minus 1, this is from here, and the second one factoring out 4, so that is 4 times the quantity x minus 1 equals 0. So from here we're factoring this out, 3x and 4, so this is now 3x plus 4, and the quantity this and this common, alright, so x minus 1. Equals zero. We'll be equating both factors now to zero. So this is now 3x plus 4 equals to zero. And the other one is x minus 1 equals to zero. So solving for x, x is equal to minus 4 thirds. And in here, x is equal to 1. So we have arrived at the same answer as the uh, earlier method, the first method up. So that's from earlier, the first method, x is negative 4 thirds, and x is equal to 1. So we have arrived at the same answer. So this second method just confirms the same answer. x is equal to 1 and negative 4 thirds. These are final answers. And so that's all I have for today. And uh, for those new to my channel, and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.